The Radio Master Zoro doesn't have the biggest batteries ever and that's a fact. This is why many people are afraid that the radio lifetime on a single charge is quite short. However, only the battery size is only half of the story. The second half of the story is how much current the radio pulls from the battery. Only when having both the battery capacity and the current pulled by the radio from the batteries, we can guesstimate of how long the radio will last on one single charge. Luckily, with the help of science and some measuring equipment, we can check of how much current the radio pulls in each power output of the radio and then compute of how long the radio should run. I measured how much current the Express LRS Radio Master Zoro pulls on the 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, 100 milliwatt and 250 milliwatt. And of course computed of how long the radio should last on a single charge. How can we test that? Actually it's quite simple. Although the Radio Master Zero is designed to be powered from the 18350 cells over here, there is external power plug. If you connect the correct cable to the Zoro and then if you power your Zoro from the external power source that can measure the current, you can compute the power usage of the radio. And since the Express LRS Lua scripts allows you to easily change the power output of the Express LRS transmitter, we can measure whatever we want. That was the hardware setup, now it's time for the results. But before we will go to the results, I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. Your monthly contribution is one of the reasons I'm doing this kind of the research, so you don't have to. If you are not one of my Patreons or YouTube supporters, please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. Extra piece of information. I measure the current with Express LRS receiver binded and powered up. So what I was measuring is the power output when the receiver is connected and the measured current represents the state when the backlight is on and the gimbals are moved. However, the radio is not giving you any audible feedback. No sounds, only the basic function, LCD on and the radio transmitting data to the receiver. It's Pavel from the future here. The voltage on the PSU was set to 7.5 volts to represent the lithium battery at its nominal capacity. And the results are on 25 milliwatts, the Radio Master Zoro pulls 380 milliamps, on 50 milliwatts, it pulls 400 milliamps, on 100 milliwatts, it pulls 420 milliamps, and finally, on 250 milliwatts, it pulls 440 milliamps. When knowing that the standard batteries in the Radio Master Zoro are 900 milliamp hours, we can compute the expected lifetime. On 25 milliwatts, it should be around 2 hours 20 minutes, on 50 milliwatts, watts it should be around 2 hours 15 minutes, on 100 milliwatts it should be around 2 hours 10 minutes and on maximum output power of 250 milliwatts it should be around 2 hours. Bear in mind most probably you will have to shut down the radio and charge it slightly earlier than that. Why? Because using the batteries almost completely depleted is not really the best idea ever. And that my friends is the reality. The Radio Master Zoro is good from around 2 hours with the maximum power output to 2 hours 20 minutes with the minimal power output. And if you look carefully at the data you will notice that well the battery lifetime does not really depend that much on the used power. Why? Because energy transmitted into the air is only a small fraction of the total energy consumed by the radio during its operation. If you would like to know more about the Radio Master Zoro please check out this video. It might give you a nice insight into how the radio is built and what it's offering. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!